Hi, my name is Steve Hughes, and welcome to my channel. For those of you who have not been here before, on this channel, we talk about all things related to the financial services industry, primarily mortgage detection and final expense. We compare the IMOs, we talk about the different types of IMOs, we compare the products, and where necessary, to back up my rhetoric and my opinion, I provide third-party documentation so that you can decide what's best for you. Because it's different for everybody, and third-party documentation beats conversation. So, this, so I'm excited about this series of videos that I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to create a playlist for those of you who are searching the industry. I know many, many, many of you, because I get a few hundred calls, texts, and emails per week, are looking at this industry, specifically mortgage detection and also final expense, to see if this industry is really for you. And I haven't found really any good videos out there. I've done some videos on choosing your coach, your mentor, your IMO, and the differences between the IMOs. But this playlist is hopefully going to take you step by step learning things that I'd want to know before I sign my name to any IMO. So come with me on this journey. This is the first video of the series. We're going to talk about what is it like to be selling mortgage protection insurance? What should I be considering before joining? Do I want to go independent? Do I want to be a captive? Do I want to be a broker? And what does it take to succeed in this industry and whether or not it's for you? So if you haven't subscribed yet, click that button below because you're not going to want to miss this series of videos over the next couple of weeks that I'm going to put out that will help you along with this decision. So hit the subscribe button, mash the bell below, and that way you'll get instant notifications of the new videos as they come up. That way you won't miss these very important considerations when you're looking at mortgage section and final expense sales career. I think I got a pretty good handle on the questions that all of you are asking because I get it like I said, a few hundred times a week. And there's some that people keep tripping over time after time after time again. You can't just compare the IMOs. You can't just compare the high contract. There's more to it than that, especially if you're new. There's other things that you want to take into consideration. So let me lay out to you very quickly exactly what we're going to be covering. But here are some of the topics that you and I are going to cover over the next several weeks. So make sure you match the bell so you get instant notifications when these videos are posted. What is mortgage protection insurance? We're going to take that topic on today. What is the opportunity for mortgage protection agents? What's the difference between PMI and MPI? These are the things that we sell against. How do I get started in mortgage protection insurance selling? Understand what we do and who we are as agents. Do we want to be a captive or independent agent? Do we want high contracts or world-class compensation? We're going to talk about the importance of mortgage protection sales training. We're going to tackle the subject that everybody wants to know about, and that is mortgage protection leads. We're going to talk about using multiple channels like door knocking, Facebook, telemarketing leads. We're going to talk about good leads versus bad leads. And we're going to talk about the common types of mortgage protection leads and different prospecting methods. We're going to help you make a sales plan and stick to it. We're going to take a deep dive into compensation plans and what to look for. I'm really going to explain to you what I feel like is the problem of this industry, which is recruiter or coach and mentor. There are differences. What actually is the role of an IMO? We're going to talk about what you should actually expect to pay for in this industry because some IMOs charge you for everything. So, so let's dive into our playlist, Mortgage Section Sales. Question number one, which is, what is mortgage protection insurance? So here it is. Mortgage protection life insurance is coverage sold with the purpose of paying off the mortgage balance for the surviving family in the event of death or disability of the primary wage earner. This really eliminates the mortgage payment for the surviving family's living expenses moving forward. For example, you, being an independent life insurance agent, receive a lead from a client who currently has a loan of $250,000 with their mortgage lender. Remember, we, if you're working the lead program, we only call people who have asked us to call. So this particular lead has a $250,000 loan with their mortgage lender. Now, you could sell them a 30-year 
term life insurance policy with a $250,000 benefit to match the existing mortgage balance. Once the policy is issued and placed in force, this effectively becomes the mortgage protection policy that they can store with their lender information. Now, this is why a lot of people want a policy, even though mortgage protection insurance in our niche really is not like what the escrow office sell. It's really a term life insurance policy, potentially with living benefits attached to it. Many people that have already got life insurance, even though this is a form of life insurance, will still want a separate policy to cover their mortgage in the event of their death or disability. So when people say they have it taken care of, it doesn't necessarily mean they don't want something separate of their current life insurance policy that's in force. So let's move on. The policy will not only pay a death benefit to the survivors, but also living benefits should the proposed insured become disabled or sick. This is what the insurance company calls living benefits which add to the value of the policy and not necessarily the premiums. This is where you being independent or being a broker does make a difference because this coverage is most commonly offered by independent agents and not the mortgage lender. So the good news is your timing couldn't be better. There's an old saying that T and timing is more important than T and talent. The market right now is busting at the seams with customers who need protection for real problems and the needs for mortgage protection policies fall well within limits for life insurance without medical exams. Coupled with the explosion of EAPs, you are sitting on a gold mine of opportunity. And here's an added bonus. Typical lenders do not offer mortgage protection life insurance, so they have to get it from you and I. So that's what mortgage protection insurance is all about and a little bit about the opportunity. On the next video, I'm gonna talk about what is the opportunity that's available to you and I if you decide that this is something that you want to pursue. Listen, the simplest answer is to align yourself with someone successful and replicate what they do. Now, here's a tip for those of you who are actively pursuing joining an IMO right now. The simplest answer is to align yourself with somebody successful and replicate what they're doing, okay? Duplication, not reinvention, is what the agents do that are most successful. Doing this will give you a track to run on and more importantly, save a lot of time and energy trying to learn it all on your own. The process is relatively simple. So number one is ask yourself if you want to join a team or do you want to do this alone? Number two, decide if you want to be a captive or independent agent. Here's a tip for you. You can work for an agency or an IMO and still be independent, and that's what I recommend. I do not recommend captive agents. Watch the video that comes out, and I'll explain to you what the difference is. Here's the biggest tip, number three. Find a coach and a mentor. I really don't like that word mentor. I prefer a coach. Top people in their industry have coaches all their lives. Tiger Woods, for example, LeBron James. They don't have a coach just for a few minutes or just for you know, a few days or a few months, and then they go off on their own and, and achieve tremendous success. They have a coach, typically, like in Tiger Woods' case or even LeBron James, there's a swing coach with him almost every tournament. They believe in coaching, ongoing coaching. Find a coach, someone that's successful, someone that's leading from the front, that's putting their name on an application that has a system in place that you can follow that will work with you day to day, case by case, before, during, and after the appointment, and even in the home. Not a recruiter. A recruiter is someone that comes in, some will, some won't, so what, someone's gonna make me rich. I'm gonna recruit a bunch of people, but I'm not willing to put the uniform on and go out into someone's house and actually sell anything. I want people to do that for me. They operate on a do as I say, not as a do as I do basis. Ask for proof, show me your company's leaderboard. If they're not on it, move on. So interview carefully, then get contracted with some carriers through that agency and that IMO. Get you some leads, get some training and some coaching on the phone strip, and then go out there and make some money. I'll add this. If you're looking for an IMO right now and you need to get started and you can't wait for the rest of the videos, here's some tips. Make sure the IMO that you're talking to owns their own direct mailing house for lead generation and is not buying them from a third party lead vendor because lead vendors sell the lead over and over and over again. That's why you get duplicated, redated, recycled leads. If you're having problems with leads, that's probably why. No recruiting necessary to get from the entry-level contract rate 
to the top contract rate. Okay, if you want to build a team, you can do that, but your personal production should move you up the comp plan whether or not you recruit anybody. And the ability to get promoted to top contract levels, no recruiting requirements. And those levels, as you move up the comp plan, are permanent. And this kind of goes hand in hand with the no recruiting required. No caps on my income. Pay me what I'm worth based on my personal income. If I choose to build an agency, I want to get paid for that and credited for that. But if I'm a top producer, I want to get paid as a top producer and get paid at the top contract levels. No membership fees that I need to join in order to get promoted. I expect home office support and training. Find a coach or a mentor that leads from the front, that's doing it actively day in, day out, putting the same uniform on he's asking you to put on and goes out there so you don't end up flopping around like a fish on a hook and end up being destroyed in this business. If you need further advice, text, call, or phone me and I'll have a conversation with you and we'll find the best IMO for you to join. And if it's a fit for you and I to work together, we'll take that into consideration as well. You have a great day. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and mash the bell. Like the video if you've got something out of this and make some comments below. Bye-bye now.